Hey gang, welcome to Yoga with Maria. I'm Maria and today we're practicing reverse plank or incline plank. Ultimately this pose works the whole body, but if we wanna be a little bit more specific, it works the core and the arms and requires a little bit of opening across the chest and the shoulders. You don't need anything for this practice, just grab a space on the floor or your mat. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and let's get started. All right, yogis, come to your mat. We're gonna start in a seated position, an easy seat. I'm taking Vajrasana, so I'm just bringing the legs together and sitting back on the heels. But if you wanna sit in an easy cross-legged posture, that works too. Let the hands rest on the lat. And we're just gonna start by warming up the neck a little bit. So turn the head to the right, and then turn the head to the left. Keep going with this, turning to the right, taking it really slow. We're always wanna be super gentle with the neck. You might even close the eyes, and as you're doing this, just breathe. Allow yourself to arrive onto your mat or to whatever space you've created, and then bring the head back to center and look down. And up, lift the chin down. Just breathe easy and normally. Looking down, try to let the shoulders relax. We're not trying to like push them down. We're just also not trying to lift them up here. Yeah, and then take one ear to the, like the right ear to the right shoulder and then the left ear to the left shoulder. So we're going side to side. Again, moving nice and slow. And if you have any pain or strain in the neck, just make these movements small. You don't have to find like full range of motion. You can just you know, do little side to sides and looks to the side. Take a couple shoulder rolls up, going up and back. Yeah, up and back, up and back. And then if you're sitting like I am, just sink the hips to one side, take the feet out in front of you. And then the arms are gonna come back behind you. Fingertips face forward, feet are about hips with distance. And then Move your knees towards your toes as the hips, hips lift up and let the head fall back. Just a little baby reverse tabletop here. We'll come back to this. And then slowly lower the hips down and cross the ankles. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees. Yeah, and then tuck your left toe behind you and turn to the inner edge of the left foot. Press down in your, to your right hand and your right chin. Left arm reaches up. Good, and then from here, you're gonna flip the top hand and just drape the arm behind the back. Let yourself lean back a little bit into this arm and just let the gaze go up again. If there's no strain in the neck, keep flexing that left foot. Good, and then reach the arm up and up, back up to the ceiling and then reach it over the ear. Circle the hand down to the mat. And then from here, you're gonna tuck your left toes, tuck your right toes to meet it in a plank pose, breathing and look forward here, coming to the tips of the toes, turning on the belly and the legs, breathing out. Breathing and breathing out, lower the knees and then just lower all the way to the belly, belly bending the elbows straight back. Untuck the toes, breathe in, just lift the head and the chest for a cobra pose, elbows, reach back, really try to find broadness across the top of the chest, tops of the feet, press down, good, and then bring the forehead back to the mat, and then just press back to hands and knees. Tuck the right toes behind you, and then spin the inner edge of the right foot down, right arm reaches up, pressing down into the left hand and the left shin, flip your uh, right thumb and drape the arm behind the back. And then again, lean back into the arm. The gaze can come up as well as long as there's no strain in the neck. Try to find more length on the left side of your neck, yeah. And then release the right arm up and take the arm up and over the ear. Circle the hand down to the mat. Tuck your right toes. Tuck your left toes. Turn the belly on. Use the legs. Look forward. Find broadness across the chest. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, lower the knees and then bend the elbows lower all the way to the belly, untuck the toes. Bring your forehead to the mat. This time the arms are gonna reach back. Flip the palms up and then breathe in, lift the head, the chest and the feet. The backs of the 
Palms are going to press down for now. See if you can lift the shoulders towards the ceiling. So you're kind of externally rotating that upper arm bone, finding broadness across the chest. See if you can float the arms. So everything lifts a little bit more. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and lower, breathing out. Take a breath in here. Just relax, soften the legs. Swivel the hips side to side. Good, and then this time you're gonna interlace the hands behind you. Find space between the heels of the hands and then lengthen out the arms as much as you can. Lift the hands a little bit up off the seat and then breathe in, squeeze legs together and lift the head, the chest, and the feet. The hands lift a little bit, but not too much. They're more pulling back towards the heels. Again, feel the broadness across the chest and the shoulders. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and slowly lower. Release the hands, release the legs and the feet. Swivel the hips side to side. And then bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Press to hands and knees once again. And then cross your left shin over your right and roll over the feet. Extend the legs in front of you. Press the feet down. Hands come behind you. Fingertips face forward. And then breathe in, knees come towards the toes, lift the hips up. See if you can lift the hips a little bit higher than we did at the beginning of class. Press down into the hands, let the head fall back. Reverse tabletop. Breathing in, breathing out, slowly lower the hips back down. Extend the legs long, pull the legs together, hands press down next to the hips onto your mat here. Flex the feet, finding a Dandasana pose, pose of the staff. Yeah. Good, and then we're gonna come into our reverse plank or incline plank. So lean, let yourself lean back, hands come back behind the hips about three or four inches. Take a look at the hands, make sure that the wrists are kind of parallel to the front edge or the back edge of your mat. And then from here, point your toes. So reach the toes down towards the floor. Find broadness across the chest. So just before you lift up at all, just See if you can float the sternum bone a little bit. Yeah, the upper arm bones kind of have to externally rotate, or they naturally will. And then fire up the arms, squeeze the legs together. So there's a lot happening in the legs and the core here as well. And then begin to lift the hips. Resist the urge to let the hips sink down. The toes come towards the mat. Keep lifting the hips. Let the head fall back. Reverse plank or incline plank here. If this is too much, you can bend the knees and come back to reverse tabletop. That's a great modification in all cases. Keep lifting the hips and then slowly lower the hips down. Chin comes back to normal, flex the feet, find your Dandasana once again, release the arms, hands come by the hips. Good, and then bend the knees and Catch behind the knees, slowly roll down onto your back. Separate the feet about a little wider than your hips and let the knees knock in. And then we're just gonna take the opposite uh, action with the arms. So the right arm comes in front and you're just gonna cross the arms over the chest, bending at the elbows, the hands just rest towards the floor. And then put the left arm in front. If it's comfortable, you can close the eyes. Notice your heart rate slowing down again. Good, and then heel to the feet back to hip width distance. Take the hands to the tops of the thighs and then just lift the heels. Notice the fingers reach closer to the knees. Lift the knees so that you just cup the kneecaps with the palms and let the feet and the shins hang heavy here. Stay with your breath, just letting the breath come in and out of the body easily, just noticing the breath, just taking your attention there. Good, and then gently release the knees, feet come back to the mat and then extend the legs long. Arms come by the sides, palms face up for a shavasana. Let yourself release and relax completely here. I'm gonna leave you in this shavasana. Stay 
for a minute or two if you can. Thanks so much for joining me today for recline, or excuse me, reverse plank or incline plank. Namaste, yogis. The biggest impediment I see to people accessing reverse plank or incline plank is tightness across the chest and getting a little bound up in the shoulders. So if that's you, keep repeating this video. But if you want to switch it up a little bit, I recommend checking out my video for bridge pose. It's right here on my channel and it'll help you continue to open up this area of the body as well as the front of the hips, which can also be an area of tightness. So give it a watch and I'll see you there.